Hello guys, in this particular video, we'll be discussing another quick topic inside sets called frozen set inside Python. So what is frozen set? Uh, I will tell you. So let's go to our code editor first of all, then I will give you the example there. So guys, you can see a uh, frozen set is nothing but frozen set is just an immutable version of a Python set object. Uh, like we have seen like set is a mutable, okay, mutable object inside Python. It's a mutable data type. We can uh, add elements there. We can delete elements there, okay, inside the sets. But a frozen set is the opposite of it. Like the list and tuple we have learned. Uh, so list and tuples both are same only. But list is immutable and tuple is immutable. Okay. So similar wise, sets is immutable and frozen set is a immutable. So inside frozen set, you can't add any kinds of element. You can't delete any kinds of element. Apart from that, you can perform everything. You can perform all the operations we have learned inside sets like the intersection union. Then uh, we have seen the difference. Okay. Then semantic difference. Everything it can be performed there. Right. So let me show you how we can create this particular frozen set. So guys, to create this particular frozen set, what you can use, you can use one, a function called frozen set. Let me show you, let's say, this is my uh, frozen set. Let's say I will create two sets here. So there is a function called frozen set. Okay, so this is the function frozen set. Inside that, you have to give one list. Okay, you have to give one list, list of number. Let's say one, two, three, four. Okay, let's say this is my number. Now you can ask me, uh, should I only perform list or I can uh, I can give any kinds of let's say data type here. You can give any kinds of data. Type. You can give tuple here. It will also work. You can give a list here. It will also work. Okay. Both can be work here. No need to worry. So here I have given list of the number. Okay. Now if I print this particular a frozen set, you will see that uh, it's telling fs is not okay. So it should be fs1. Now see this is my frozen set. So the type of this particular uh, object is also frozen set. Let me show you the type. So if I just print the type of this particular fs1, you'll see that it's a frozen set object. Fine. So we have successfully created this particular frozen set. Now let me create another frozen set. I'll copy and here I can paste. Uh, now here I can take, let's say uh, three, four, five and six. Okay. Now I can print both of them. Fine. So this two is my frozen set. Now you can perform um, all the operations we have learned. I think you remember like union, intersection, anything you can perform. Let me show you some of the example. Let's see if I want to perform the union operations. What I can do, I can call this particular FS1 uh, union of FS2. Okay, FS2. Now see, it will give you that particular output. That means the unique item. You can see unique item, it will give you one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, five and six okay fine now you can also perform intersection so how to perform intersection i think you know you need to use this particular and and up and signs okay now if i execute it will give you the intersection of it that means whatever operations you have learned okay whatever operations you have learned you can apply anything on top of this particular frozen set only only the things you can't do that changes okay like you can't add any kinds of value you can't delete any kinds of value okay from this particular frozen set it's not possible now you can ask me uh when to use this particular frozen set okay what is the use of this particular frozen set let's say sometimes you want to create an application uh with the help of sets okay set data structure so inside that particular application you don't want to change something okay it would be fixed okay you don't want to change that uh, change something that time you can use this particular frozen set but if you're if you want to create any application you want to change something in that particular application you you want to add something in that particular application that time you can use uh only the simple set okay that is the difference only you can do like the list and tuple okay we have learned now you can ask me can i create a two-dimensional uh frozen set is possible two-dimensional frozen, uh, frozen set yes it is also possible we can also create two-dimensional uh actually uh frozen set okay let me show you how to create the two-dimensional frozen set so for this, you can use this particular uh, syntax. You can see I have defined a frozen set. Inside that, I have added some element one, two. And again, I have defined another frozen set. Okay, again, I have defined another frozen set. You can see. So why I'm able to set this particular uh, frozen set? Because it's a uh, immutable. Okay, that's why I can store any kinds of immutable data type inside a set. So, okay, I already proven. Okay, I think in my set class, I think you remember. Now if I execute, see. Uh, this particular frozen set will be created and these are two dimensional frozen set. Okay. So this is a quick concept inside set and inside Python. I just wanted to let you know because uh, most of the time you will see programmer will use this particular concept. And if you don't know that definitely will get a confused. Okay. Uh, why, what is the thing they're using exactly? So yes, this is all about from this particular video. Thanks for watching.